Uh, my name is Jeff Birch. I'm the head men's soccer coach here at Center College. And uh, we're gonna go over today with you guys a little bit of the summer program we do with our players. I've got a player here from Los Angeles, California, Giancarlo Gonzalez. And before we can start, let's do a forehead check, my man. 98.3, so he's perfect. So there's five programs that our center soccer players will work on over the summer. Uh, they're gonna have a strength and core program that they do. They're gonna have a fitness program that they do. They'll have a ball program that they do that we're gonna show you here today. They'll also have a foam roller recovery program and they're also expected to play games. But the first drill we'll do here today as far as our ball program is concerned, it's a simple figure eight. Our spacing in our cones is 10 yards. JK is going to go at speed. He's going to try to come around at figure eight, come around the cone and get right back. We're going to see how fast he can do it. Go. Time. 6.28 seconds. Okay. And so what JK is always going to be trying to do is can he improve upon his time? Okay. Everything that you'll see is worked through here today. We want to do it as fast as we can. Okay. So let's see if we can improve on that. Ready, go. Push, 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 push. Time, 6.50. Okay, so right on the same kind of time here. Again, what JK's doing, he's going over a 10 yard radius here. We have a cone halfway in the distance. He's doing a figure eight speed dribble around all this, taking it back to the cone. Using both the inside and the outside of his foot, as he changes direction to get back. So what we just had JK do over here is the figure eight dribbling. And now what he's gonna do is a T dribbling is what it's called. My cone over here, my cone to the middle are 10 yards. My cone from the middle back over to here is another 10 yards. So I've got 20 yards total here. And then the starting cone is 10 yards off the middle here. JK will dribble out to the round the cone, make a very explosive cut to get out to the far cone explosive cut to finish out across. Again, trying to do this as fast as he can. And you can see he's using both the inside and the outside of his foot as he changes these directions and gets out. He has very good explosion as he changes in his direction. That's what we're really looking for here. Can we be a little faster than seven seconds? Ready, go. Good, 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 go, 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 go. Time, 6.99, so a little bit better, a little bit better. And so what we have here are 10 cones spread out over 10 yards. And what JK is gonna do is work on getting different touches on the ball with the outside, inside of his foot and on the sole of his foot as he comes through here. We're not gonna do it for time. We wanna make sure he gets really good quality touches each time as he comes through it. Good. Good. Don't be afraid to take the break. We want everything to be nice and clean and perfect all the way through. Very good. If you want to add time to this at the end when you start getting better at it, go ahead and do it. But make sure you get good quality touches before you start adding time to race through this. Okay, so what you've seen here is the figure eight dribbling, the T dribbling, the 10 cone touches, and now we're gonna do the six, four, 10 dribbling. What you're gonna see here again, our cones are spaced apart 10 yards. I've got a cone here in the middle that is six yards from that cone, and from this cone, this cone is six yards as well. JK will come in fast with the cut, he'll come back to the second cone, and then he's gonna explode out as fast as he can go. Let's watch. Very good, very good. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Time. 3.93 seconds. Let's try it again on this side, JK. We really want to see him explode out when he changes his direction. Ready when you are. Go, 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 go. Time. Good. 3.9 again. So he's right on his same times. He's right on his same times. So what we're going to do here is called the 510 cut. All right. JK again is going to start in the middle cone. Our two cones are spaced 10 yards apart. Be nice and explosive when you get out. Ready, go. Go, 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 go. Time. 
3.43, 3.43. See if we can beat that. Ready, go. Go, 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 go. Push, 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 push. Boom, 3.26, 3.26, very good. Okay, so our last drill here is our pro agility dribbling drill. We actually have our players working on this over a three week period, okay? If you look at the distance of my cones here, 30 yards apart, I've got four cones. Each cone is 10 yards apart, totaling 30 yards apart. In week one, JK wants to do four of these, okay? He'll start here, 10 yard there, dribble all the way out. That would be week one for JK. Let's take a look at what he's expected to do. Go! And gone. Fast as he can, fast as he can, take that space. Very good, very good, very good, very good. And so that would be week one. He walks on this first cone here, 10 yards, goes out as fast as he can, okay? We give him a 40 second break in between each one of these. He's expected to do eight total, four on each side. And now on week two, he's got a 20 yard speed dribble out there, and then a full on speed dribble out here. Again, he would do four of these on each side, and because it's week two, he only gets a 30 second break in between each one, rather than the 40 seconds that he had during week one. Let's see what it looks like. Ready, go! Hard, 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 hard. Push, go, 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 go. There it is, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. And so then in week three, JK will start now all the way back here, okay? Again, he's gonna go full distance out, full distance back. He does four of these on each side of the cones, and now he only gets a 20 second break in between each. Week one, he had a 40 second break. Week two, he got a 30 second break. Here in week three, he gets a 20 second break in between each one. He'll do eight total for each side. Ready? Go! Good, go, 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 hard, hard. It looks simple, but it's hard. Go, 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 go. And so again, what we have here is our cones spaced out 10 yards, 10 yards, 10 yards, 30 yards total. Week one, we only go 10 yards out all the way through. Week two, 20 yards out all the way through. Week three, we're starting at the very end, all the way out, all the way back. Again, your rest. Week one, 40 seconds between each. Week two, 30 seconds between each. Week three, 20 seconds between each. We're doing eight total, four on each side of the cone. So again, what our soccer players are doing over the summer, they've got a strength and core program they're being expected to do. They've got a fitness program that they're being expected to do. They have a ball program, which we demonstrated for you here today. They've got a foam roller recovery program that they do, and they're being expected to play games. On the days where they're doing ball work, like we just saw JK here do, one of the things we want him to also do when he's taking his breaks is we want him to juggle a tennis ball. We want him to be always active with the ball, even when he's taking breaks in between all the different dribbling moves that he's trying to do through these cones. One of the things, it's one of my most favorite stories here at center, is one of our All-Americans, he was in the Hall of Fame, his name is Josh Will, okay? And Josh Will and I lived with Jay Hoffman one summer. Jay Hoffman's our women's soccer coach. And I've gotta tell you, Jay Hoffman holds the record for game winners in a single season for center soccer. And I talked to these two all summer long, do their work, and after they would do this cone work with the ball, you know what they would do? They'd play one-on-one. -on -one. They'd take two cones, 12 yards apart, and they'd play one-on-one -on -one as long as they could until they were dead dog tired. And I gotta tell you, it is as simple as that sometimes, folks. Get on the ball, do your regular work, get a partner to come out here, push each other for time, see who can do it faster, and then when you're done with all this, just play. Just play one-on-one -on -one and go as long as you can, as hard as you can, and you'll find that'll add up real quick as you work through your summer.